Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a deep dive into the tech of the new Apex Pro 2023 lineup. Really excited to talk about these. We are actually gonna have a video come out after this one of both myself and Nikki uh, talking about the overview. Nikki's gonna do some swing testing to show you that guys have the numbers behind it. Um, there are three new introductions this year. We've got the Apex Pro, beautiful golf club, hollow body construction. We've got your CB, so similar to a blade fill with just a little bit of forgiveness. And then you've got your MB, you know, the tour inspired tour player iron. Uh, that golf club's just sexy. I mean, it just looks good. Um, so we're going to go one at a time here, though. Kicking it right off with the Apex Pro, which is going to fit more golfers out of these three clubs. Um, so with the Apex Pro, from the three iron through the six iron, it is got the traditional 455 Callaway cup face. So a little bit higher launch, a little bit more forgiving, and a lot of ball speed off that. And what's cool with these is from seven iron to gap wedge, they're actually fully forged. Um, so still a hollow body design, but it's a forged chassis and face where on the long irons, it's the cup face. One thing that I think a lot of people are going to benefit from is the bottom of the golf club, which never gets talked about is on the bottom here. And I'll try to show it in camera. If not, we'll have the graphic from Callaway pulled up. It's the dynamic sole. So they've actually pre-worn the front leading edge of this golf club to get it through the turf a lot smoother and cleaner. And then there's some trail relief on the from heel and toe so that it exits a lot smoother and a little bit faster. So transferring more energy from the golf swing to the ball, even if you catch it a little skinny, you get a little fat. Um, you know, the whole point of these pre-worn grinds is to enhance and improve on that turf interaction. Um, the other part is the player capability. Um, even though it's got the name pro in it, this is kind of catering from anybody that's a scratch golfer. Uh, and in my estimation, up to about a 15 handicap wouldn't have any trouble playing these. Um, they're super easy to hit. The dynamic landing angle on these things, so how steep they come into the green, is really impressive because typically with a hollow body iron, they come out flatter. They almost knuckle a little bit. They don't spin enough. So therefore, your landing angle comes in steeper. So you'll hit the front of the green and it rolls all the way off the back, um, which is not ideal for any golfer. Uh, with these having a more rounded uh, sole on them compared to the last generation, they've made it just a hair wider. Um, they've opened up some forgiveness and been able to play some strategic weight because um, what's really cool about every iron is the way that they've placed CG. So the short irons, so your wedges, have your um, highest point of CG where your long irons have the lowest point. So what that means is that center of gravity in the wedges, they're going to produce a better spin rate and more consistent and stable face, where in the long irons, having that CG low, it's going to help the launch angle get up a little bit faster. Um, so they've kind of knocked it out of the park in terms of actually making changes from the 2021 Apex lineup. The other part that I really like is something that I've hit on in our other video is price point. Instead of having three different prices for the three different heads, these all come in at 215 US dollars uh, in a non-upcharge graphite or steel shaft. So within that, there are some upcharges available. Um, but for the most part, your basic pricing for the Pro, CB, or MB is $215 US dollar per club. The other part is loft. The loft on the Apex Pro is 33 degrees. Traditionally speaking, like with a P790 or similar hollow body iron, you would typically expect a 28 and a half all the way up to 31 loft. So these are about two degrees weaker but they're not lacking in ball speed. So distance has actually still been fairly consistent. So overall, I mean, they this is, I would say, the most improved out of the three clubs is because they've opened this up to more golfers than just your zero to five handicap players. Um, and they are available in right or left-handed. Um, so nobody's getting left out this time. Um, so really excited for that. So kicking off next is the CB. So the CB is the ultimate tour iron, right? So it's got the blade look, but with some forgiveness, kind of like the Apex Pro, so you're not going to be penalized as much on the miss hits. Now, the difference between the Pro and then the CB is this is 
1025 carbon steel. What's very unique about this CB though is it's actually forged in a five-step process. So you've got the body that's forged as the one piece and then you have strategic mem weighting placed throughout the head. Um, and while we're on weighting is if you look on the back of the head here, you'll see this plate. So for facilities like us, we specialize in custom builds, uh, but not even just from a special build, just getting the golf club properly weighted. Callaway has actually made multiple weights so that when we build these clubs or if we order them through Callaway for a client, we can now specify what swing weight we want and they can achieve that without having to put a bunch of lead tape or getting told, well, we're going to have to do best swing weight possible. Because um, in our estimation, telling a customer you're going to do it best possible versus, hey, we can now get it right, I mean, that's leaps and bounds better. Um, so really excited to have that adjustable weighting system across the board with Apex. Um, what's really cool with the CB2 is it's got a little bit less offset than what you would traditionally see in kind of the CB range. So they've kind of blended the way it flows directly into that heel there. It doesn't look as, um, I don't want to say hook uh, bias, but a lot of your offset better player clubs tend to get a little bit more draw bias. Um, and for me or anyone who is visually over the golf ball, you know, when you get in this category, most players would rather see an open face or square face rather than something that looks closed with a lot of offset. Um, and just like Apex Pro, you've got that variable sole camber um, and then still that dynamic CG placement across the board. So I think this is going to be probably their best seller uh, in terms of your zero to nine handicap range over the MB, just because this does have this small cavity here to provide some stability through impact where the Apex Pro, obviously someone who's used to a blade might not make that jump to pro. But the unique thing with this lineup, especially with the lofts and the way that they've strategically placed weight with that CG system, is you can actually combo them. So a lot of people will probably take Apex Pro, go 3-iron, 4-iron, 5-iron, and do like a CB 6-through pitching wedge. Or they'll take a CB 4, 5, and 6-iron and go MB 7-through pitch just to have a little bit more precise workability. Um, so really excited that they've given us that weighting option because you don't want to go from a really light head like the Apex Pro to a really heavy head like the MB without being able to adjust the weight there. So no matter what head you pick in that comboing option, it'll be blended. So lastly, we're going to hop into the MB um, and compared to the last Apex. Um, now that's a club I kind of made fun of a little bit because they took an old school Adams design and kind of brought it back to life 20 years later. A lot of people uh, know the cult classic, that Adams MB with the circular weight. Well, the last generation Apex uh, actually had that same circular weight. And it was a good club, don't get me wrong, but shaping wise for a blade, it just didn't kind of fit. Where this, they've actually taken players like Maverick McNeely who are playing these prototypes for the last two years. And you can see on the back, they've reshaped it with almost this cut muscle. So even though it is an MB and it's one piece, that cut muscle and this adjustable weight allows them to move some weight out towards the toe. Um, and they've actually made the club from heel to toe longer um, than the last Apex. So behind the golf ball, it's a little bit thinner profile. And my favorite part is it just sits so square. Uh, again, these are precision clubs. These clubs aren't focusing on distance. They're, it's not a 200-yard 7-iron that's juiced up. It is if you're aiming 5 yards right of the pin and want to draw it over, you can do that on command with these. Um, and just like the CB, it is fully forged out of that same 1025 carbon steel. Um, so it's just a really soft metal. Um and it's got the least amount of offset, so which most blades do. And again, you can kind of see, I'll try to angle it in the camera there. And we'll also throw up some uh, pictures from Callaway. Um, just beautiful looking golf club. And when you talk about a blade, uh, these things are actually starting to uh, get talked about a little more because a lot of tour players now are doing that kind of comboing set. Uh, I think a lot of people with this MB are going to feel more comfortable because of the sizing to actually allow it to enter the bag versus in years past, it's like, oh, I'm not playing a blade. 
I'm not good enough. There's no forgiveness. Well, here it really opens up that CBMB combo uh, to be an option for that better player. And you've already seen it like the last few weeks on, you know, tour more players, which is kind of a weird time frame as certain players approach the Ryder Cup. Um, go ahead and put these in the bag and test. Like John Rahm's been testing the CBs as well as an iron that's not released yet uh, called the TCB. So it's a tour cavity back. Uh, we should see those late spring, early summer next year if they do come out, um, which is just speaks testament and volume that before playing in a Ryder Cup that he might be switching irons based on how much of an improvement it is over his current iron. So be curious to see if he sticks with them. Um, through, through the Ryder Cup, but I guess time, time will tell us, right? So overall, as a, a general overview, we have been fortunate enough. We That's why you see these dots on the club. We have been fitting them the last few weeks. Um, so even though they just come out by the time the video launches, we've had a lot of data behind here, and that's why it's been nice to give the feedback on the Apex Pro is a lot of these b players that traditionally want a forged golf club, but they're not – quote unquote good enough for a forge club they're able to get a really nice soft iron with almost the same forgiveness level as let's say a paradigm um, but they're gaining so much more tech than what the paradigm has since that was geared towards more uh, game improvement style where this apex is more player oriented so overall i think that you know the engineers at callaway deserve a pat on the back um, i'm not going to spoil the video that comes out later but you'll see how incredible and how consistent um, these irons truly are. And that's the one word we kept going back to is consistency, consistency, consistency is marketing actually met what these clubs do versus it's always easy to say, well, these irons are a club longer. Well, yeah, you made them four degrees stronger in loft. So dynamically at impact, your seven iron is going to be 23 like a four iron. Where with these things being traditionally lofted, so 34 degrees on the CB and MB, 33 on the Pro, um, it'll impress you guys. So if you haven't done, you got to turn on those push bell notifications so you don't miss that video. It's going to be a fun one. Um, and for more videos like this, just hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.